The conditions have finally decided to relent and City are ready to face their final match of the US Tour. And what a mouth-watering duel it promises to be. And away come by Munich on some sort of counter-attack. But the Blues win it back around about the centre circle. And now they stride to the edge of the penalty area. And Kevin De Bruyne unleashes a left-foot drive, which was maybe a, a foot or so beyond the far post. It was brilliant counter-attack play. And De Bruyne, as sharp as he was on Wednesday, he's picked up the baton again. That was great counter-attacking from Manchester City. His first corner which uh, Bayern Munich felt should have been a free kick to them because there was a little bit of a, a stumble, but the corner's been taken and the Blues have set it up for Grealish, who slams a shot into the side netting. He turns away disappointed because it sat up to be hit. It wasn't a bad position and he was relatively unchallenged, but he kind of dragged it on the instep rather than connecting fully. Yeah, he did. He's hit it quite well. You'd expect him to hit the top. It's slightly unfortunate. So by Munich free kick, which they clip forward towards the right hand side. Josh Wilson Esbran has to come across for the Blues to try and prevent the cross coming in from Coman. Ball into the box is onside, and by Munich have scored. The Blues are looking for an offside flag, and eventually, I think it's come. The fact that it went up so late is what uh, has upset Ruben Diaz. The potential of a near post shot, but uh, it is going to be an outswinging ball from Mares. It's headed away with Diaz in a good position, and now it's helped on to Grealish. Grealish into the box, and City will score, and they do. Slid in by, yes, of course, Erling Haaland. Welcome to Manchester. Well, it's Lambeau Field, but the first opportunity that comes his way, he is on target, and what a start to his career. Well, what a start. You can't make this up. Erling Haaland in the right place at the right time. De Bruyne keeping the ball alive. It was a good run from Jack Grealish, very unselfish. And straight away, as he puts the ball right across the face of the six-yard area, he always felt that's an area where Erling Haaland was going to be. Just dives forward, a simple finish, and you could see the delight on his face. What a start for Haaland. Well, I think the only surprise is that it took him nearly 12 minutes, Michael. But uh, anyway, what's going on here? The players are being taken off. The rain is obviously too heavy. The threat of lightning is clearly back in the air again. And I can only imagine it's a health and safety issue because just after Haaland put the ball into the back of the net, rather than setting up to kick off, the players were led away to the tunnel, or have started to be led away to the tunnel, as Bernardo Silva has the ball near the edge of the City penalty area. Ake then clips it forward, looking towards Haaland, and it might reach Haaland indeed. Haaland is charging through here, he's got beyond the last defender. Haaland, good tackle, really good tackle, just at the vital moment as he was about to shoot. Upper Meccano came sliding in and took it out for a corner. The corner came across to join Mares, but I think Mares is going to play a ball in towards Rodri, Diaz, Haaland and... Uh, Okay, and well, it was Rodri who had a real golden opportunity and it was headed goal bound. And I think it struck Hernandez or Muller, somebody in there. And I think it was going in had it not done, and it's uh, gone out for another city corner. It is Hernandez who oh, got again, the he had so much space, so much space. Sane hasn't had too much of the ball because City have had more possession and now they're on the edge of the penalty area and there was a shot that came in first time from Haaland. It was probably on target, but it just brushed off the nearest defender and span away for a, a corner. Another good chance for City. A good touch around the corner and chances just keep coming, but on this occasion it was going to be tough. It was underneath him. To the path of... Man again, it's lovely football from Bayern Munich. They're getting towards the edge of the city penalty area with their French international winger. Tries to get the better of Wilson Esbank, clips in across to the far post and right across the face of goal it goes. Alphonse Davis on the far side, Gnabry threw himself at it. It just went beyond him. It's still alive and City have to head it out for a corner. Excellent play by Bayern Munich. I have to admire what they did there.
Alvarez. And Alvarez comes darting forward and he hits a shot which whistles by the far upright. It was beyond the advancing goalkeeper, uh, but beyond the post as well. But excellent acceleration by the Argentinian. He lays it back to Rodri in the centre circle. Wilson Esbran comes charging forward. Brilliant play by Wilson Esbran. Into the box he goes. The shot's not bad either. And Ulreich makes the save. And in the end, it was cleared by Pavard. Well, that's a really encouraging moment for Wilson Esbran. It's De Bruyne on the charge. De Bruyne stretching out. Keeps on going. Keeps on going. Edge of the penalty area. And hit by Mares. Palmed by Ulreich who just about gets to the rebound as well, and the referee says he was impeded, and it's a free kick to Bayern Munich. Great passage of play. Oh, that was wonderful. Kevin De Bruyne again out of his feet. People trying to get in and around him. Just lays the ball off, Riyad Mahrez, but thought Kevin De Bruyne might have had a shot. Might have gone right across the goalkeeper. De Bruyne picks it up in the right wing position. He hasn't got anywhere to go except backwards. And that's a really good win by Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer with a shooting chance. Ulreich with the body save. And City are thwarted, and Cole Palmer in particular. And uh, Nico Lewis is indeed at right back. And Joao Cancelo has gone over to the left, which makes total sense. As Palmer in the right wing position, lays it off to Phillips and on into the path of Lewis. Lewis into the penalty area. Brilliant from Rico Lewis, and he hit the inside of the post. And City still have it on the edge of the area. Goodness me, what an impact that would have been. The referee's just blown his whistle. And I think it might be. I think that's the end of the game, Full time whistle, yeah, it is. So we are going to conclude in the 85th minute. So the handshakes are now starting to go round, and Erling Haaland is going to grab all the headlines. Everybody wanted to see him in a city shirt. It took him 12 minutes to get himself a city goal, and that goal has settled the contest and all the headlines will be about the man who the headlines were about before he even donned the City shirt, Erling Haaland. They had some good moments as well beside the Blues. They had some terrific opportunities to add and the closest they came to a second goal was the substitute, Rico Lewis, who almost stole in with the first goal for the first team. He hit the inside of the post. But all in all, a really good little mini tour of the USA ends with two victories today against Bayern Munich by one goal to nil.